Today we're going to take a look at one-sided limits. So let's take a look at this graph and see specifically what's happening at x equals 2. Now you're probably noticing that the limit as x approaches 2 of this function does not exist. And the reason is that the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right. But we can talk about those limits individually. That is, we might say that the limit as x approaches 2 from the left, see as x approaches 2 from the left, the limit is equal to 6. And the limit as x approaches 2 from the right would be equal to 8. Now again, because these two are unequal, the limit as x approaches 2 does not exist. But this is the way that we'll notate the limit from the left versus the limit from the right. So here's another graph to consider. And let's take a look at what's happening at x equals negative 1. So at x equals negative 1, we have this jump happening here. So we can tell that this limit does not exist. But we can talk about the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. From the left, our function is approaching positive 1. And then from the right, f of x is approaching 2. Now if we move our focus over to what's happening as x approaches 1, we can say that the limit as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to 2. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right will also be equal to 2. Our function values are getting closer and closer to 2. Since these values are equal, since the limit from the left is equal to the limit from the right, the limit as x approaches 1 is also equal to 2. Now this last place is kind of interesting, so let's talk about that. We'll call this x equals 2. That's not labeled on there. Now, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left our function is getting closer and closer to 3. And as x approaches 2 from the right, our function is going to negative infinity. So that limit doesn't actually exist. So we can either say that the limit is negative infinity or just that it doesn't exist. And since the limit from one side doesn't even exist, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x definitely does not exist. Now what if you're not given a graph? Let's say you're given the equation of a piecewise function. And we'd like to know about the limit as x approaches 5. Well, we need to know what's happening to the left and to the right. So the limit as x approaches 5 from the left, well, from the left of 5, so those would be values less than 5. So we're looking at x squared plus 1, so the parabolic part of the equation. So that would be 25 plus 1, which is 26. Now if we look from the right side, that would be for x values greater than 5, and that would be the linear part of our function. So f of x is approaching 5 minus 3, which is 2. Now since the limit as x approaches 5 from the left is not equal to the limit as x approaches 5 from the right, 
the limit as x approaches 5 does not exist. Okay, one more example. Let's go with that x squared plus 1. So again, looking at the limit from the left and from the right. So from the left, we're going to have 5 squared plus 1, which is 26. Now from the right, we'll have 4 times 5 plus 6, which is also 26. So that tells us that the limit as x approaches 5 must be equal to 26. So in summary, we're looking at one-sided limits, that is the limit from the right as well as the limit from the left. And we know that the limit as x approaches a exists and is equal to l as long as the left and right-hand limits are also equal to l.